Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. And this time we're gonna focus on grabbing things. Because there's actually a little more going on than just the simple straightforward grabbing things as you might think. Because we're also gonna bring into account this term called fall off. And fall off is gonna be very important when it comes to grabbing things and moving them and adjusting them in a very organic and smooth fashion. So I'm actually gonna start with these letters here as objects and we're gonna grab them and manipulate them and see how this works. Now, right off the bat, most intuitive, grabbing something is using your dominant hand, reaching out and grabbing it. Clenching your fist, activating the grip tool or grip on your controller. Now, if we look closely in the palm of my dominant hand, you see that gray sphere. That gray sphere is your grabbiness. Anything that intersects that sphere. If you'll notice, I'm gonna move this close to the camera, but as I move this sphere around, see how it turns red as I touch items? For the person using the headset, when I touch one of those items, not only does my controller turn red, but an outline around that object turns red as well. It's kind of disappointing that you guys can't see it, uh, but we'll try to do a in-visor display in some of these other episodes. But as you'll notice, when it turns red, that's when I can grab it and move that object. And anywhere I put it, that's where it's gonna be. While I'm holding an object, if I also grab with my other hand, now I can grow or shrink whatever it is that I'm holding. So grabbing with both hands when you're holding an object is how we alter that object, or at least its size. Now, if you want to, you can actually move it so that sphere touches more than one piece at a time. Right here, I'm touching both the up and down and the horizontal. If I grab while I'm touching two pieces, I do indeed grab both of those pieces. I can even make the world grow and shrink so I can get more than one piece a little more easily. Not only can I make the world change size, but if I'm not holding anything, your thumb, you'll notice if you're using a joystick or a controller pad, if you move your thumb controller up and down when you're not touching anything, you can see how that sphere gets bigger and smaller. Small gives you a very precision grip. Large, Let's make it even bigger. I can now get the entire thing touching all of the pieces at once. So just grabbing, we can make our grab controller bigger or smaller. Now if we do grab multiple pieces at once, our offhand, the purple button, the thumb press center button will group all of these pieces. So now if I grab any one piece, they all come together. If I hit that purple button again, ungroup separates them back into their original component pieces. And anything that intersects that sphere, bigger or smaller, I can now, whoops, let's just grab the F pieces and group. Now I'll grab this A pieces and group. If you're worried about things getting out of position when you grab them, don't worry. The moment you do something like ungroup, it does put all the pieces back where they came from. So grabbing them to selecting them, if I now choose the blue button or the purple button to edit type of thing, it does put it back in its original place. So grabbing something, unless you then let go, Grabbing something and holding it, it will snap back to its original place. So don't worry about knocking things out of line. So that's all just grabbing things in the normal environment. But now we're going to add step two here. Is that backwards to you? That's backwards to you, isn't it? Now we're going to add step two here where we're actually going to move into our edit mode. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer, grab this A, but now I'm going to hit the blue button, 
to go into edit mode. So if we zoom in closer, you can now see the control points, the little circles on these pieces. Edit mode is a little bit different than normal grab mode. So let's grab the O and edit and zoom in so we can see these control points. Now normally, I had the palm grabber. But now that I'm in edit mode, I also have a fingertip grabber, that little purple one. If I intersect that with any one control point, I can now move that control point. So far, so good. With these control points, the fingertip grabber will just grab one at a time, most precision. But the palm grabber sphere still works as well. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to intersect three of those pieces at once. Now when I grab, you can see how they all three turn black. All three stay together. So I can make my grabby sphere big enough to grab multiple control points and move all of those control points at the same time. Grabby sphere, bigger and smaller. Or single point, grabby with the fingertip. While that's all good, that's all useful, we still don't see where this term fallout comes in yet. Okay, okay, let's get there right now. So fall off. I'm gonna slide this to the side for a moment, or up there so you can still see it. Now I'm gonna make myself a nice normal cube but I'm going to make this cube subdivided so I can make, uh, actually let's make it like this. And now we're going to grab this and subdivide them so I can make a whole bunch of pieces here. So I've got this long skinny piece. Now if I do my normal large size, grab all of these pieces, there we go. You can see how when I stretch them, the pieces I've grabbed hold their position and all the other pieces stay the same. While that is nice, it doesn't feel very organic. It's not very smooth. So here's where we're going to have this term fall off come into play. Let's undo that. So, if I wanted this end cap to move out, but these other pieces to stretch naturally, smoothly, organically, the ones on the very end will move as much as my hand does, but the ones in between won't move as far. Because it's stretching, the distance these front guys move will be less. So, while these guys move the most, the amount of movement would fall off the farther we get so that it's a more natural stretch action. This seems kind of weird, so let's demonstrate this. So we've seen how I can use my up down to change the grip size. Grip, you notice there's nothing in my zone. I'm gripping, gripping empty space. But while I have it gripped, now I'm gonna change the size again. See how there's a second sphere inside the outer sphere? As long as I'm gripped, I've got this inner sphere. Here is the fall off zone. Anything inside the inner sphere moves completely with my hand, with a controller. Any control points within the outer sphere, they get the fall off. They won't move as much. So if I move this close to the camera, now with my inner sphere, the ones that touch the inner sphere go solid black. The ones that touch the outer sphere, you can see fade to gray. The ones that are faded are the ones that will fall off. The ones that are solid black are the ones that will move completely. So I'm going to grab this guy. We're going to use our fall off. So you can see the shape stretches. It's not just that one zone that stretches, but the whole object. Let's make my hand even bigger. So now I can have even more pieces stretching. These 
back pieces don't move very much, only the front pieces get the full movement. Let's shrink this down a little bit. So again, we can see this little more natural, little more fluid form of stretching. I only want the very end pieces, everything else. So these were in the outer sphere, they'll move a little bit. These were not in the sphere at all, they don't move at all. These in the inner sphere are stuck to the controller the most. So you can see it gives you a nice bend, a nice curve, fall off is how you can control motion smoothly, stretching and deforming smoothly. This is all part of our subdivide action where it's smoothing and rounding things for us. So fall off. It's how I can use that double sphere action. Inner sphere gets 100%, outer sphere falls off. So your grabby tool can now be a little more organic and flexible. Now I've got it the way I want it, lock it in place with the blue button. Now I'm back to my normal, regular one-shot grab and move. I'm gonna make it big enough to get that whole piece and bring it up in your face. There we go. So thanks for joining us. This particular episode is all about grabbing things using that center sphere or when you're in edit mode, using your pointy finger for precision, your main sphere for grabbing multiples, and then grip resize for the fall off, bendy organic version of gripping. Let us know if there are questions in the comments below. Let us know if you have ideas you'd like us to, to uh, show. Let us know if you've got uh, questions you'd like to ask. We do this all the time here at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. There we go, get our message out here as always. Thanks for joining us. I hope you have fun with Gravity Sketch. It's a lot of fun to play with. Take care everybody.